As I sat by my window last evening, the letterman brought it to me. A little gilt edged invitation saying, Go, Hooli, come over for tea. Sure, I knew that the Fogarty sent it, so I went just for old friendship's sake. But the first thing they gave me to tackle was a slice of Miss Fogarty's cake. Oh, there were plums and prunes and cherries, and citrons and raisins and cinnamon too. There was nutmeg, clove, and berries, and a crust that was nailed on with glue. There were caraway seeds in abundance, sure it would build up a fine stomach cake. It would kill a man twice after eating a slice of Miss Fogarty's Christmas cake. Miss Mulligan wanted to taste it, but really there wasn't no use. For they worked on it over an hour, and they couldn't get none of it loose. Till Murphy come in with a hatchet, and Kelly came in with a saw. That cake was enough by the powers above to paralyze any man's jaw. Oh, there were plums and prunes and cherries, and citrons and raisins and cinnamon too. There was nutmeg, clove and berries, and a crust that was nailed on with glue. There were caraway seeds in abundance, sure it would build up a fine stomach cake. It would kill a man twice and a eaten a slice of Miss Fogarty's Christmas cake. Miss Fogarty, proud as a peacock, kept smiling and blinking away Till she tripped over Flanagan's brogans and she spilt the homebrew in her tea Feel holy, she says you're not eating, try a little bit more for my sake Ah, thanks, Miss Fogarty, says I, but I've had quite enough of your cake Oh, there were plums and prunes and cherries, and citrons and raisins and cinnamon too There was nutmeg, clove and berries, and a crust that was nailed on with glue there were caraway seeds in abundance, sure it would build up a fine stomach cake. It would kill a man twice after eating a slice of Miss Fogarty's Christmas cake.